This is the only Huawei M9. This is a big computer of Lishan L9. So the one I am showing you is the electric version. You can also get the plug-in heavy version. The technology giant Huawei has recently unveiled its latest addition to the automotive industry, the luxurious Huawei a 9 This full-size SUV, designed to cater to various needs, integrates cutting-edge technology features synonymous with Huawei's reputation. The unveiling of the a 9 has had a seismic impact on the automotive landscape. Since it's going to trouble giants like BMW and Mercedes-Benz, come, let's see how Huawei a 9 luxury car shakes the entire car industry, the design and advanced technological features of Huawei's Aito. Nine have captivated a global audience, resulting in an overwhelming response from potential buyers. Within a mere two hours of its launch, the company experienced an unprecedented surge in demand, with over 10,000 orders placed. The Huawei Aito N9 is a full-size luxury SUV that boldly announces its tech-driven aspirations. Launched at Huawei's Winter Conference in China, the mine's exterior speaks volumes about its tech-centric DNA. Triangular headlights, flush-fitting door handles, and a gently sloping roofline hint at both aerodynamic prowess and spaciousness within. The Kunpeng Jani design language, with its sharp lines and futuristic elements, leaves a lasting impression. Eito, a Chinese joint venture between Huawei and Sirius, launched their flagship six-seater SUV called the M9. The electrified model comes packed with features, including the latest Huawei-sourced technology, plenty of screens, and two projectors that can offer a cinema experience inside and outside the vehicle, boasting more screens than seats. This electric SUV aims to be a multimedia consumption device on wheels. ATA offers two powertrain options. The fully electric version boasts dual motors with 523 HP and a cattle sourced 97.7 kWh battery providing 630 kilometers of range. Alternatively, the range extender variant combines a turbocharged 1.5 liter generator with dual electric motors, offering a combined range of up to 1402 kilometers with both battery and gas tank full. The Ato 9 is a large SUV with modern styling cues and a sleek but rather generic looking body. The highlight is the high-tech headlights, which are reminiscent of Huawei's Luxeed SS7 sedan. The lighting units feature adaptive matrix LED technology and can identify pedestrians and other vehicles, while an integrated projector can turn any flat surface into a 100-inch display. Suppose you are not so much into drive-in movie theaters and open-air karaoke sessions. In that case, you will probably prefer the second cinema-friendly option. Inside the cabin, there is a laser projector and a retractable 32-inch panel, allowing rear passengers to enjoy movies, games, or TV shows from the comfort of their seats. The dashboard of the i2N9 is similar to Mercedes Hyperscreen, housing a trio of displays. The 12.3-9-inch digital instrument cluster, 15.6-inch central infotainment screen, and 16-inch front passenger screen are combined with a 75-inch head-up display and four more tablets for each of the rear passengers, all running on Huawei's Harmony OS 4 system. See, the sound experience is also unique thanks to Huawei's 25-speaker 2080-watt audio system and the active noise reduction technology. The six-seater interior layout of the Chinese SUV can be transformed according to the needs of the occupants, as depicted in the official gallery that shows a double bed configuration. All of the seats are electrically operated, with most of them offering 14-way adjustment, heating, and ventilating functions. In terms of safety, the Aito Mine is equipped with 27 sensors and features the latest Huawei ADS 2.0 system. The Aito Mine 9 is slightly larger than ABMW X7, measuring 5,230 mm long, 1999 mm wide, and 1,800 mm tall, with a wheelbase of 3,110 mm. Despite its size, it has a claimed drag coefficient of 0.264 CD, which is quite impressive for the segment. The body is 80% aluminum alloy. A2 announced two powertrain options for the M9 fully electric and a range extender. The BAV is fitted with dual electric motors producing a combined 523 HP of power and a cattle sourced 97.7 kWh battery pack allowing 630 kilometers of CTLC range. On the other hand, 
the ERV has a turbocharged 1.5 liter engine, generator under the hood, dual electric motors with a combined 490 horsepower and 42 kWh or 52 kWh batteries from cattle. This setup is good for a combined range between 1362 and 1402 kilometers with a fully charged battery and a full tank of gas. The new model is produced by series with Huawei supplying the electric powertrain, sensors, infotainment, etc. As suggested by its name, the M9 is positioned above the existing M5, M7 SUVs. Such, it will compete with similarly sized models in the Chinese market, including the Li Auto N9, Neo A8, EiFi X Hongqi AH S9, plus ice powered luxury SUVs from European automakers like the BMW X7, Mercedes-Benz GLS. The Atom 9 is already available to order in China, where it is priced between $65,726 and $79,717. The first deliveries are expected in early 2024. The Atom Mine's exterior design boldly announces its kinship with always tech-driven vision. Borrowing the sharp tech language debuted on the Huawei Luxe 7 sedan, the M9 cuts a striking figure with its triangular headlights bisected by a piercing LED strip. Flush fitting, retractable door handles further emphasize the car's aerodynamic ambitions, while a gently sloping roofline hints at spaciousness within. T pillars bear the HEMA logo, marking the vehicle's connection to Huawei's dedicated car showrooms. Color options cater to diverse tastes with five hues available to adorn the mind's sculpted shell. Aerodynamics reign supreme, with the EV version boasting a drag coefficient of 0.264 CD and the AirV version coming in at a respectable 0.279 CD. Blurring the lines between car and smartphone, the Ito Mine's headlights and Huawei's own handiwork double as projectors capable of displaying images and videos. The Ato M9's interior embodies a futuristic vision of automotive comfort, meticulously crafted with an emphasis on spaciousness and intelligent functionalities. Stepping inside reveals a six-seater haven configured in a 2 plus 2 plus 2 layout, each seat adorned with plush Nappa leather for a touch of luxurious comfort. The driver's cockpit takes center stage, transformed into a digital command center by a trio of high-resolution screens. The Ato M9 creates a symphony of information readily accessible to both the driver and the front passenger. But the visual feast doesn't stop there. A breathtaking 75-inch augmented reality head-up display paints vital information onto the windshield, further blurring the lines between reality and digital immersion. Powering this symphony of screens is Huawei's Harmony OS system, promising a seamless and intuitive user experience for controlling navigation, entertainment, and vehicle settings. For those seeking an even more immersive experience, the A2M9 offers an optional quartet of 10 inch screens mounted for the rear passenger's enjoyment. This transforms the cabin into a mobile entertainment haven, ensuring everyone on board stays engaged and entertained. Step inside and be greeted by a symphony of screens. A 15.6-inch main infotainment display flanked by a 12.3-inch instrument cluster and a dedicated passenger screen puts information readily at hand. The M9 isn't just a spectacle of screens. It is available in both hybrid and electric versions. So what do you think if the M9 can defeat the established luxury SUVs from brands such as BMW and Mercedes-Benz, as well as newer Chinese rivals like Neo and Hi-Fi? Comment on your predictions. Don't forget to share the video. Smash the like buttons and subscribe for more.